hello everybody welcome to weekly tech in this tutorial we are going to discuss about type conversion and type coercion in javascript so basically type conversion is not a new thing to any programming language and the same is for javascript we have integers and strings and booleans in every programming language and the same is in javascript so what's the basic different difference between uh, type conversion and type coercion and what is type coercion so let me just quickly go through some examples to let you people understand what's the basic difference between them and how really javascript accepts it so let me declare a variable const input here and let me declare it as string okay two zero two one and if i wanted to do const or let's say I'll just console.log directly input here plus 10 number what do you think what will the output 2031 2031 input here is in a string so JavaScript handles it in a different way let me tell you how so now output is 2021 10 so what happened here is JavaScript converted input here the string plus 10 number to a string so here the plus operator is doing the string conversion so to make this operation correct we need to do a type conversion and to convert any string into number we use the number function and the function num and the name of the function is number with the capital n so we'll put this whole variable inside a number function so that it can convert javascript will convert this input here to a number and then to the addition so that we can get a correct output 2031 but what if and the same applies for a string so let's say let, uh, const input name or input age let's say some somehow it got 23 here okay so now if you want to convert it into a string you can use string function capital S to R I N G to 23 okay and just to check the type of this we'll use the type of function so type of function will do nothing but to tell you the type okay so it should give me string in the output because I'm converting 23 in number to string with by using this string function so the output of the second console log should be string and here it is string but what if if we convert let's say let's have another variable const name equal to no, no, capital name equal to oh there and if you use number to convert this name into number what will happen so javascript will give an output will try to convert this string to a number and if it is and if javascript won't able to do it it will give you not a number in the output that is n a n then the provided string is not a number so what is the type of n a n so it's, it's a good question and it's again a weirdo in javascript so if you do type of n a n what will the output again a number so type of n a n is a number which is an a n a n a n stand for not a number again we are doing javascript but that's totally okay with us so let's let's do one more thing and let's do it in this way i am 
Uday Singh and I am remember how I'm using a plus operator here 23 plus years old so what will be the output as we discussed earlier JavaScript plus operator will convert or coerce it into string so whatever we saw in the first example so this number and string are nothing but type conversions so let me just type it here these all are the examples of type conversions type conversions okay we are converting a string into number number into string everything but what will the output of this this console.log line number 11 let's see I am there saying and I am 23 years old 23 years of years old check here 23 is a number but JavaScript handled it in a string way and converted into a string this is type coercion okay let's check another example of another operator another arithmetic operator let's say if I'm doing string 23 minus string 2 check here how I used minus operator the subtractor what will the output 21 so remember one thing the plus operator only and only the plus operator will coerce it into string and else every other operator will coerce it into number same is applicable for the multiplier and the same is applicable for the divisor okay so let's save it and run it See, 20 46 and 11 23 into 246 22 by 2 is 11 so remember again string plus number is a string so JavaScript plus operator will convert it into a string now what about the comparison operators the logical operators what will they do in case of string comparison let's say I said 23 is greater than 22 logically 23 is greater than 22 when it is a number but what about a string I said as I said earlier only the plus operator will handle it as a string else every other operator will handle it as number but what if I give a proper string here I think you know the output see as I said as I said earlier it will use uh, it will convert the string into number in case of when both them are numbers but what if the comparison operator the greater than and equal to and both the sides are having a string how it will behave so JavaScript will convert if in case of both are strings like in this case it will convert into 16 uh, 16 digit or 16 character Unicode and then make a comparison most of the times you can see people saying that it will compare the first character and if the first character seems to be greater than then it will not check rest of the characters and it will give you the true or false value so like just in this case u the unicode value of u is greater than s if i if i go like s t u 
stu uw xyz so the output of this should be false false and if i do it like this just for the sake of you guys i'm doing it what is the output the unicode of capital a is less than unicode of small a so if i do it like this it will give you true it's again a discussion it's a very long discussion to do i'll provide some links in the description so that you can you guys can have a look on them and have a clear understanding so if i do it like this a is greater than let's say 26 23 will give you true it will convert in case of number and string it will convert both of them into numbers and then do a comparison but one is if it's not a number then it will simply take the uni value and then compare so it's just a lot of uh, if and then uh, conditions that ECMAScript, scripts that my es6 and es5 community the ECMAScript script community has developed i'll provide you some links so that you can have a clear understanding of how this comparison works but i think by all these examples you get a clear idea of how type conversions and type coercion work remember only one thing in case of coercion then only the plus operator will take it as a string and rest it will take it as a number next the point of discussion is is it a good way to do i personally don't use it in this way while declaring a string like this I generally don't do it like this but if you know what you are doing then you are always good I personally don't suggest and do it in this way but you should be knowing how things are working behind the scenes that can help you from a lot of bugs this is weekly tech please let me know in case you have any doubt and you want to clear them or any suggestions and in the comment section please do like and share see you in the next video Thanks a lot.